أعوذ بالله من الشيطان العين الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنهتديا لولا أن هدانا الله وصلى الله على أشرف بريته وسيد رسوله وخاتم أنبيائه وعبده المؤيد ورسوله المسدد المصطفى الأمجد أبي القاسم محمد اہل بیت طیبین الطاہرین الماسومین المدلومین الغر المیامین الذین ادھب اللہ انہم الرجسا و تہرہم تطہیرا ولانت اللہ الابدیت الدائمہ على أعدائهم أعداء الله من الآن إلى قيام يوم الدين أما بعد السلام عليك يا أبا عبد الله وعلى الأرواح التي حلت بفنائك عليكم منا سلام الله ابدا ما بقيت وبقي الليل والنهار ولا جعله الله اخر الاهد منا لزيارتكم السلام على الحسين وعلى علي بن الحسين وعلى أولاد الحسين وعلى أصحاب الحسين الذين بدلوا محجهم دون الحسين ورحمة الله وبركاته صلوات الله محمد وعلي محمد First of all we thank Almighty Allah سبحانه وتعالى our creator, our nourisher, our provider, our protector who has provided once again in our life this opportunity to be together in these nights of Arba'een and once again commemorate and remember our Muslim and oppressed Imam Sayyid al-Shuhada Aba Abdullah alayhi salatu wassalam Also shukran brother Khalid Sayyid for your beautiful talk and speech and inshallah I would just add few small issues or points and try to be brief inshallah. May Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you but what is really also important for us, for all of us to realize, you know, this great barakat of Arba'een and this ziyarat of Arba'een or 40 days after martyrdom of Imam Hussain alayhi salatu wassalam. It's not really something small. Those of our brothers and sisters who have experienced this, they know 
what is this ziyarat and how you know sometimes we speak about ziyarat of 40 from angle that what is the background of it brother khalid for example quoted a hadith from imam afan askari alayhi salam saying that one of the signs of followers of ahli al-bayt is ziyarat of 40 of imam husain said the shuhada alayhi salatu was salam but beside that now if someone really has this privilege to go and experience personally this ziyarat only can understand what it is and how love of imam hussein ishq of sayyid ash-shuhada salamullahi alayh shines flourishes rules over souls of millions of people it is it is a unique experience without any doubt and this procession or this walking toward karbala on foot and on feet and you know going through different stations and levels until you reach karbala is is not possible to be explained in words you need to really experience it to understand what is this how imam hussein salamullahi alayhi's power magnetic power attracts millions like that how they really express love of imam hussein and say the shuhada alayhi salatu wassalam in their interaction with the people in their behavior and attitude you know somehow in these few days you become a different person you are not the one you are normally you know that selfishness especially i don't know somehow it disappears in this journey of ishq and love toward karbala how you cross this prison and free yourself even for those few days that you only think about yourself and nothing else no you want you want to think about something other than yourself when you look that flood of people when you look akhlaq of people when you look how people are serving you then it shakes inside of yours when you have those problems in your under your feet due to walking for long distance and it becomes sore and even pass you feel pain of course you feel pain but then all of a sudden you look at a much more older weaker frail person walking with amazing spirit this pain disappears this pain is not there anyway i just wanted to remind brothers and sisters that this arbain is basically the philosophy of arbain is to reconnect to imam hussein and not only to reconnect to imam hussein emotionally but to reconnect with imam hussein in our thinking 
in our approach, in our action and deeds and especially akhlaq. You know, one of the things really myself personally I learned in this journey that is caring for others. Caring for others. Looking beyond luxury and comfort for yourself. Allahu Akbar. Unfortunately, unfortunately, this year, huge number of mu'mineen, brothers and sisters, lovers of Ahlul Bayt, due to this challenge of COVID-19, could not go, could not make this journey to Karbala. But their hearts are there without any doubt. This is a small presentation which we prepared and Mahdi took a lot of trouble to put together. May Allah grant him ziyarat of Imam Hussain alayhi salatu was salam with message of Karbala in all South African languages. And expressing our salams to Sayyidu Shuhada, Aba Abdullah al Hussain alayhi salatu was salam. This connection must be all the time kept alive, kept energizing us, motivating us, guiding us, directing us. Yes, brothers and sisters. Beyond emotions, of course emotions are important, but beyond emotions, our brain is also time to think where we are and where is Imam Hussain? What is our connection to Karbala? I really don't want to go into detail. Just this, the same incident which Khalid, Brother Khalid narrated for you about Arba'in, that Jabir, who is Sahabi of the Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Jabir ibn Abdullah al-Ansari, Ridwanullahi alayhi radiyallahu ta'ala ana, the great companion of the Prophet, he came to make ziyarat along with this Atiya, who is also a great scholar, great Tabi'i and son of great Tabi'i and, uh, you know, someone who was a lover and follower of Imam Ali alayhi salatu wassalam, a personality of Atiya. Atiya, now, that narration you saw, you heard, but one part which Brother Khalid did not narrate, and that I would like to just narrate and conclude. You know, when Jabir was very old, very weak, frail, he was walking toward the grave of Imam Hussain, Sayyidu Shuhada, Salamullahi Alayhi, on the day of Arba'in. He made a statement there. This is interesting. He made a statement there. He said to Addressing Imam Hussain, addressing Shuhada, who are buried in Karbala, he said, I am with you like I would have been on the day of Ashura with you. Means I am participant of Karbala. I am part of Jihad of Karbala. Atiya got a bit confused with this statement of Jabir. He said, Jabir, you were not present in Karbala. You could not make it for the jihad of Imam Hussain. But you are stating, you are claiming that you are part of Karbala. You are part of Mujahideen of Karbala. How? It is at that point, please listen carefully. Jabir narrated for Atiya a hadith from Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That hadith is I want you to 
just listen and finish hadith which narrated jabir to athiya is this that qala rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam prophet said that if someone ha oh, if someone likes loves somebody and shares his thoughts his desires his wishes in the same manner with someone else in the day of qiyamah he will be taken to wherever that person is going along with him sallallahu ala Allahu Akbar. Finish. That's it. Amazing statement. You know, ulama say, Jabir was faqih. How you can make a claim that I am part of Karbala? You were not in Karbala. He said, no prophet said that if your heart, if your mind, if your commitment is there and even if you were physically not there but you are sincere, devoted heart is there your practical commitment is there you are like part of them you will be in the day of qiyamah along with them allahu akbar jabir wanted to say oh husain i was not with you in karbala but my heart was with you my mind was with you my commitment was with you and therefore i count myself among followers of karbala among karbalais brothers and sisters we are not in the even this mashi in this mashaya in this walking journey of ishq of karbala this year but our hearts are there our love is there our commitment to imam hussain's goals and ideals is there there are plenty of people on plains of karbala but they were not with imam hussain they were not committed to imam hussain i think no big deal but there are people who were not in karbala but their hearts are with karbala their commitment is with karbala they stand for hussain and ideals of hussain they are husainis they are karbalais they are part of karbala let us be karbalai like that assalamu alayka ya aba abdullah brothers and sisters brothers and sisters when brother requested inshallah tomorrow night we will listen to our very capable brother bashir rahim his speech inshallah and again in the end i will say few words inshallah and then thursday night i will be in your service but tonight on the request of one brother i would like to take you to madina allahu akbar i want you to come along with me to madina where there is a woman in madina who comes to allah akbar jannatul baqi comes to jannatul baqi and draws with her fingers sign of four graves <laughs> this draws signs of four graves and then she sits and recites eulogy and marsia of her children allah akbar her sons sometimes it is history she does this in baqi by making four graves in the qabristan of baqi <laughs> and sometimes 
she goes out of the way all the way on that route which goes toward karbala <laughs> toward iraq she sits that on that route out of medina on a, on the way to iraq allahu akbar and she does the same thing she makes four graves and recites eulogy and marsia for the people for the passengers for the travelers who are going to iraq or coming from iraq history says whoever used to listen to this marsia and eulogy of this mother could not keep could not keep himself or herself what this mother used to say allahu akbar who is this mother this mother is ummul banin this mother is mother of sons this mother is mother of abil fadl al abbas even the worst enemy of ahl al bayt like marwan recorded he hides his face and cries allah akbar what she says just one or two poetry sentences from her poetry she says o woman of madina la tad uwanni waiki ummul banini o woman of madina please don't call me any more mother of sons allah akbar don't call me any more mother of sons i have four, four sons all of them were sacrificed on the plains of karbala allah akbar la tad uwanni waiki ummul banini where are those sons of mine i can be called for them ummul banin then she continues and says i was informed i was told by those people who were in karbala what i was told that someone attacked on my lion son abbas with a huge iron pillar on his head allah akbar and brought my son abbas down from the horse allah akbar she says listen listen brothers and sisters what ummul banin says ummul banin says i don't accept this radis is not valid this report is not genuine this is not a great news this is not a valid news no why she says because no woman has given birth allah akbar listen please carefully no woman in the world has given birth to a son to a man who can come so close to my abbas to attack on the head of abbas no no one can come close to my abbas so this report cannot be true in the next sentence what she says no no oh people might be this news be true no this news may be true you know why because both <coughs> both hands of my lion abbas they were severed and cut allah akbar Ummul Banin says that they told me that in Karbala every shaheed, every martyr went to battlefield. When got injured, fell from the horse on the sands of Karbala. I don't know, my Abbas. 
when he fell from the hearts he has no hands he has no shoulders how he came down on the sands of karbala ala lanatullahi ala alqaumiz zalimin sayalamul ladina zalamu ayyaman qalabin yanqalibu